That's not creepy at all. I was just wondering why you changed your hair. Hair's the same as it's always been. You're trying to look older? Younger? Whatever it is, it isn't working. Are you finished? Because I'm actually trying to catch up on some billables here. Hey, I just stopped by to give you a little gift for winning the Zane case. A gift? You've never given me a gift after a case. That's not true. Come to think of it, you've never even congratulated me, which means you're actually here because, oh my god, you miss me. I did not miss you. Are you okay? Do you want to come over tonight? We can watch Sleepless in Seattle. Do you want your gift or not? That's it? My gift looks a lot like a folder. It's a case. You and me killing it against Travis Tanner. Just like old times? Just like old times. Well, what are we waiting for? Nothing. He's on his way over with a settlement offer right now. Settlement? That doesn't sound like Tanner. Sounds exactly like Tanner. How's that? He's starting off waving a white flag. And he's doing it just to go behind our back so he can attack our flank. So you're saying we need to watch our flank? No, I'm saying we need to attack his. What? I'm just gonna say it. Every time we go up against Tanner, it gets brutal. You just had a panic attack the other day, so... Are you sure this is really what you need right now? It's exactly what I need right now. Let's go get him. If you're here to check the air, it's like a sauna on the 38th floor. Good to see you, Harvey. Nice to know some people never change. No witty rejoinder? What's going on? You slowing down here all day? Could be low T. And I could talk sh with you guys all day, but I'm here because I care about my client. Well, then maybe your client shouldn't have tried to launch a company with stolen IP. That IP wasn't stolen. Alyssa created it herself. It doesn't matter whether she created it or not. She signed a contract that says we own it, and it was on our laptop that she took home on her last day. And we're not letting you walk out the door without property. Okay, I told you this isn't about me. Okay, what do you want, Tanner? I want to make an offer. Alyssa is willing to give you a 15% stake to drop this whole thing. She can make it 100% for all I care. We're not settling. You don't have to settle, but you do have to present that offer to your client and you know it. I will. I just need to get it translated from bullshit to English. Harvey, look at me. That's a fair offer. No, you look at me and tell me you're not doing something behind our backs right now. I'm not. Well, we are. Hey, your secretary said you wouldn't file a TRO until after this meeting. Oh, we didn't. No, it turns out that Miss Lang has some outstanding debts, so we just went ahead and bought those up and put a lien on her property. The sheriff's padlocking her offices as we speak. Harvey, don't do this. You'll be sorry. Tell that to the judge. We're filing that TRO in the morning. I'm telling you, I'm not the guy I used to be. But if you hit me, I'm not turning the other cheek. You're gonna get hit back. What are you so happy about? I told you it's exactly what I needed. Gentlemen, I don't like granting TROs without a good reason. We have a good reason, Your Honor. It's called a contract. A contract that explicitly states that any product Alyssa Lang developed during her employment is the property of our client. Unfortunately, that contract is unenforceable. It is, unless I woke up in Russia this morning. Your Honor, I have here a copy of Alyssa Lang's birth certificate. She may have signed that contract, but it isn't binding because she was only 16 at the time. What? Your Honor, I know this man, and that document could have come from anywhere. Get it verified by the labs at Quantico. All it's gonna prove is that Alyssa Lang had no legal capacity to sign. It doesn't matter how old she was when she signed it. It was 10 years ago. She's cashed every paycheck she got since. And you can argue that at trial, but we have laws protecting minors for a reason, and I'm not granting a TRO. And one more thing, Your Honor. We have payment in full, discharging her debt, and are requesting her doors be reopened. That has nothing to do with why we're here. Save it for trial, Mr. Spector. It's lunch. I'm hungry. And those padlocks are coming off today. What the hell was that? That was the sound of your face hitting the canvas. I suggest you stay down. I'm not staying anywhere, you son of a bitch. Excuse me? You heard me. Your client was 16 years old, and you conveniently left that out of your changed man speech. I didn't tell you about her because I knew you wouldn't listen to a thing I said after I offered you a fair deal and you told me to go to hell. Bullshit. She didn't tell us because you wanted to blindside us in court. Hey, you're the one who turned the lights out on Alyssa's business while I was extending an olive branch. Bullshit again. We both know that settlement offer was nothing but a distraction. You want a distraction? That is a draft of Alyssa Lang's sexual harassment complaint against your client. As far as our offer goes, it wasn't a distraction because we haven't filed that yet and our offer's still on the table. I advise you to take it.
Oh, good, you're back. Can't be good if you're out here. Oh, I didn't want you to get ambushed. There's a... Tim Petrov of Betasoft in my office. He's been wearing out your carpet for a half an hour. Tanner must have sent him a copy of the complaint. If you mean that paper balled up in his fist, I'd say he did. Thanks for the heads up, Gretchen. Tim, before you say anything. Sexual harassment? What the hell is this? It's only a draft. It hasn't been filed yet. And that's supposed to make me feel better? It's a goddamn lie. I have never done anything remotely resembling harassing anyone. Tim, I want calm you to- calm down. I'm not going to calm down. This is a complete twisting of who I am. I want this woman destroyed. It's not her, it's her lawyer. I don't care who it is. I have a wife and children and I want this thing gone. Then you should know there's a settlement on the table. Mike, not now. What settlement? A 15% stake in her venture. Are you out of your mind? You think I'm gonna settle with these people based on blackmail? No one's settling. Hey, you're damn right no one's settling. Now earn your money and blow this woman out of the water. You heard him. Figure out a way to put the screws to her once and for all. Harvey. And I don't wanna hear any sh about my state of mind. I'm not gonna say anything about that, but what I will say is that if Tanner's willing to make her do this, what's to say he's not willing to make her do something worse? What do you wanna do, Mike? You wanna back down? No, I wanna get Tanner fired. It's not legal for us to talk to her. There's no law against me running into her by accident. Harvey, I talked to Alyssa Lang and there's something you should know. Let me guess, she batted her eyes, told you a sob story, and now you think she's some kind of innocent. No, I don't. In fact, she told me that the sexual harassment idea was hers. And why do I need to know that? I think we should consider taking the deal. Well, we're not gonna do that. Why not? Because first of all, there's no way on earth that Tim's gonna settle. You could convince him and you know it. And second of all, there's no way on earth that that suit was her idea. Harvey, you weren't there, all yeah, right? I didn't have to be there to know that if Tanner could convince her to do that bullshit in the first place, he could sure as hell get her to say it was her idea. He couldn't have known that I was gonna contact her. He could and he did. And I don't wanna hear another word about it. And while you were away trying to get her to cut him loose, I was here trying to figure out how to do what Tim asked us to do and blow her away. Harvey, this isn't a joke. I'm not joking. The only way to get Tanner to back down is to point a cannon in his face. You're not pointing it in his face, you're pointing it in hers. And, and, and once you put this in motion, there's no guarantee that you're gonna be able to pull it back. She should have thought of that before she hired Travis Tanner.